And so we had the session, you know, they had Adam Grant as their uh, keynote speaker. And so I was like, oh, this, this conference must be legit in my mind. I was like, oh, because they have Adam Grant. They have this person. So after the conference, the next day, I get an email from an editor at Forbes. And she said, hey, I was in the audience at your session at that conference. Have you ever done any writing or are you interested in writing at Forbes? We have our career section, but we at the time Forbes didn't have like right now they have a DEI section. Yeah. Forbes never had that before. So wow. she was like, we're, we're looking for somebody to write more about this particular topic. And you know what was funny is that this was June of 2018. In January of 2018, I applied to Forbes coach. They have a coaches council. Yeah. I applied to it. They rejected me. Right. I saw the rejection email. Wow. And I, they were like, oh, you're not well suited for the coaches council. So I just it was funny to me. I was like, yo, like the way that life works is just really funny. If I hadn't been scrolling on LinkedIn and decided to apply to that conference as a speaker, you know, now I'm getting an opportunity to write for Forbes. So I, she didn't know that I love to write and writing is my passion. So she's like, do you have any writing samples? And I had written maybe like two articles on LinkedIn. Right. And, and my, I had my dissertation. Right. Other than that, I didn't have any writing samples. I'm sure I know Medium was around at this time, but I wasn't using nothing. Medium, yeah. So I didn't have any writing anywhere. I was like, wow. oh, let me send you. So I sent her what was on LinkedIn and she's like, oh, this is good. And that, so that's how I got that. That was like the first time that I was like, wow, LinkedIn is really powerful. Right. Wow. <laughs>